How'd you become that guy? You know what? I, I grew up not that guy. Yeah. So a lot of people put a title on me. They want to, uh, they see me now. They see me now as the guy that with his shirt off who can do 4,000, 30 pull-ups in 17 hours, who can run 205 miles in 39 hours, who can do all this crazy shit. But what they don't understand is they don't understand the journey that it took Okay, me. everybody. Today is December 18th, 2023. This is the first day of episode 8. Episode 7, we had a good episode. Um, I didn't really film too much past weekend. I did gain some weight. I gained 3.8 pounds, which I'm not happy about, but I did enjoy myself with some families and friends and just eating good food and I well deserved it. But now that's over, I get right back to work. So with that being said, this morning I started a 72 hour water fast. This is my second water fast. I started this morning at 5 a.m. I weighed in at 215.7. I just feel myself just now after 12 hours of fasting and I'm already at 13.9 I lost an eight a pound 1.8 pounds um, so tomorrow morning with Mike 24 hours and then tomorrow evening I'm work 36 hours so I'm gonna keep going both my goal is to lose Try to lose six to eight pounds this week. I'll put it at 215, and then I'll put me at 208, 207 if I do it correctly. And then next week, I'm doing a little water fast Monday through Thursday morning. It's actually the way I'm doing it now 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to start time 5 a.m. in the morning to end time on Thursday morning, next week, and this week. And if I do that well, I do that right, and hopefully I make 200 on January the 1st. That is the cut up date. But I do have a relapse week where I can make that weight for that first week. But I would rather do 200 on January the 1st. So without further ado, I'm going to do a light workout and get right back to editing. Keep it editing for you guys for these videos. Well, what I is what hey, it started. This point, and what got me to this point was I was just the opposite of what I am today. I was that guy who ran away from absolutely everything that I got in front of me. But not many people knew that. I had two people. I had the, I, I, the, I, like the real me was like this very scared, insecure, stuttering, got beat up by his dad, all this kind of stuff. And then I, I built this fake person that walked around like my shit didn't stink, you know, you know, right. yeah. So that was that's kind of how I did it. You have to know who you can be at certain times in your life. No one knows who they are because if you know, if you knew who you were right now, you'd be really limited, you know. Because life is about change. You're gonna be told then five years from now, you'd be a different person. Won't be this person. So right. we have, we're gonna have to have develop some kind of emotional intelligence and just learn to as time goes on grasp what's ever going on and just form with it as it changes you change with it because it's very difficult when times change to change with the times right and you have to be conscious of that and the times is not the people around you the time is the development and time you have left on this planet that you have to develop who you are i just can't let it do it anymore i'm gonna have setbacks i know but if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. You know, we'll sit around forever wondering, well, what if I, you know, what if I was a dog catcher? Would I be the best? What if I was a, you know, what if I worked on that, you know, at a, a avalanche, you know, search you know, searching for avalanches and predicting them. Or a, what is it called? A uh, geologist. Who would I, you know, would I be able to do it? Would I, you don't know. Until you say, yeah, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to take action. Nothing changes if nothing changes, man. 
and I'm not preaching at you. I'm just, uh, I just want to remind you because I, you know, I've spent a lot of time in my life sitting around wanting things to change. Hi everybody, just got done with my workout. First off, we did dips, five sets of five. Leg raises, four sets of five. We went to dumbbells with a weighted vest. Hammer curves, five sets of 10. Dumbbell extensions, four sets of 10. Body workout, a number of crunches, five sets of six. Wall sit into failure, one minute and 20 seconds. And then bar slams, 15 pound, four sets of 15. Nice little light workout today. You want to overdo it today. I think I'm fasting, but um, tomorrow I'm gonna do a walk. I'm do a walk with mom. Wednesday we're doing another workout. And then Thursday morning, um, I get done fasting, and I'll probably do a a walk on Thursday and then Friday probably do another um, body workout or outside workout and call it right here and get small if you don't fail you're not even trying to get something you never had you have to do something you never did pain is temporary it may last for a minute or an hour or a day. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Today is December 21st, 2023. I think the last time I spoke to you guys was on Monday. So, Monday we did a workout. <clears throat> Tuesday, I was still walk. Got home after a long day of work. The moment I got home, I fell asleep. Knocked out cold, and I was still continuing my fasting. I actually made it to 60 hours fasting as of yesterday. 60 hours, cut it off because um, my mom wanted to eat dinner with me, so did it for her. It's morning, today's Thursday. I woke up, went to work. Not even in, not even an hour into my work day, I got hit with stomach pain so it got to the point where I'm like okay I can probably fight it off and then it just kept going and going and going eventually I call my manager and I told one of my co-workers to have someone cover me because one I, I, just, I just couldn't deal with the pain and I've been there for about two years now I've only called out once I've only gone home early once in terms of medical and sickness and those type of things that come up. So I don't use my sick time unless I need it. Got home around seven. I'm kind of bed rested all day. Taking it very easy. Um, I've been eating some food, very light, crazy, nothing heavy. So I was planning on doing a workout, obviously with what happened this morning. I think it's best for not do anything today, but I did document all my weight loss of doing the fasting. And Monday at 5 a.m., I weighed in at 215.7 of my starting weight. 12 hours into my fast, I was already down to 213.9, lost 1.8 pounds. 24 hours into fasting, which was Tuesday morning at 5 a.m., I went ahead and got down to 210.9 which was a total of 4.8 pounds loss. 36 hours into fasting, I went to down to 208.9, a 6.8 pounds loss. And then Wednesday morning, um, I was at 207.3, at 8.4 pounds loss. And 60 hours, in, 60 hours into fasting, I was at 206.4, with 9 pounds and 3 pounds, 9.3 pounds loss. I weighed in this morning, I think at 207, yeah, 207.7. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I, I haven't put the camera in a few days, so I want to give you guys at least a 
an update of what's been going on. I'll put this camera up tomorrow. We'll probably do a walk. Tomorrow's Friday, December 22nd. So I'll probably do a walk tomorrow. That's going to be it for now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll give you guys an update of what's going on. Even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's gonna be who you're going to be, how you're going to be. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> I just got home. My legs are killing me right now. So much pain, but... Oh, totally worth it. Um, I'm going to do an outside workout. Along with running up and down the block. Do the slam ball a few times. And uh, give you guys an update on the weight before I finally call it a quits on Monday. Um, I did, yeah, but right now that's all I gotta say, really, to you guys. I wanna say thank you for watching the documentary and taking the time to watch it because I have no idea how long, how much pain, how much blood he has gone into this journey so far ahead. Still not even over. It's not even close to being over. Hi, right, everybody. It's going to be 6.33. We'll do half an hour light job. Just on the block. No. Remember, Why? dreams without goals are just dreams. Yes, you're tired. Yes, your mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But you cannot quit because you realize you have not reached the goal yet. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life. I can do that. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. I will never quit. Because if you quit, you're done. Failure gives you two choices. You stay down or you get up. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. You never give up, you pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome, that is what I believe! If I told, if someone had told me when I was 20 years old that life was very short and would pass just like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if I tell you that, you don't believe it either. I cannot get young people to understand how brief life is, how quickly it passes. It seems like yesterday I was in school. Every one of us here has been given the same amount of time in a day. 1,440 minutes a day, 168 hours per week. 70 years God allows us. And it's interesting to me, with all of our medical science, we've never passed that magic mark. The average American male today lives 
70 years and four months. The average female, 73 years and six months. More people live to be 70, but the average age of an American is still 70 as taught in the scriptures. What a thing it is when you think that you have just one short life to spend and it'll soon be over. I'd write down my priorities in life and I'd get committed to certain priorities. Now is the accepted time. The things we ought to do, the classes we ought to take, the books we ought to read, do it now. The family that needs you, spend more time now. Write that letter home now that you've been meaning to write. Money you ought to give, give now. Time for study, do it now. People you ought to witness to, do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say now, today, if you will hear his voice. There may not be a tomorrow for you and for me because there's a warning to time. Time is running out for all of us. Time is too short for indecision and vacillation. Do not halt between two opinions. Fools say that time is long. Every morning we have 86,400 seconds to spend and to invest. And each day the bank named time opens a new account for you and for me. It allows no balances and no overdrafts. If you fail to use the day's deposits, the loss is yours. The Bible says redeem the time because the days are evil and the days in which we're living are very evil. If there was ever a time for the gospel that can transform the human heart, it's now. Jesus said as long as it is day, we must do the work of him that sent us. The night is coming when no man can work. The night is going to come in your life. Yet there was a serenity about the work of the Lord Jesus. It's the quality of life, not the length. Jesus only had 33 years and it ended on the cross. To the world, he was a failure at that moment. Yet at the end of his life, he said, I finished the work that thou gavest me to do. It doesn't matter whether you live another year or two years or five years. Will your work be finished? Is there a quality to it? Is there a dedication to it? Suppose all of our members tithe their time to witness for Christ as we tithe our income for the church. Fill your heart with the word of God. I've found that those who know the scriptures are the ones that have the power today. But we need men and women who walk with God. And if you do that, you too can finish the work that God gave you to do and help us to realize the brevity and the urgency of time. And may we invest what little time we have in the kingdom of God. Hi, everybody. By the way, today is December 28th, 2023. We are currently, we are currently three days away from January 1st, 2024. Three days away from my goal of 200 pounds. Three days away from my deadline. Three more days of hard work. Three more days of pushing myself to the next limit. Three more days of sweat, blood, tears, pain. Cold, hot, showers, you guys get the point. Three more days. Make my goal reality. And so close, bro. So close. I waited this morning at 206. About to wear myself now. I was about to take a shower. Wear myself in the morning. Do an exercise tomorrow. I'll be here on the porch. I'm gonna get up early on Saturday. Go for a walk like I did a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna do another workout tomorrow, or well, not tomorrow, Saturday afternoon. Do the same thing on Sunday. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully make it my goal at 200 pounds. 
my goal, man. And I'm so close again. I just need a, a little more of a push. And uh, I think I can get it. But I gotta stick to it. Just because, just because I got a few days later doesn't mean I have to stop. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay. So, not in the same clothes, obviously. And the reason for that is, is because I realized that the audio adapter for this wireless mic, the jack is broken. Or well, not responsive. So, all the audio that I record for today, which is December 30th, 2023, was gone. So, I'm going to be making this clip. This is before my workout, by the way. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll that footage now. I'll see you guys in a second. You feel lost. You don't have the motivation or power to do what you know is good for you. You let life control you. This is what they want you to do, but you are not made for this. You are capable of so much more. This video is your rescue. I want you to put your headphones in, lean back, and enjoy this masterpiece. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. At work, you've been working your ass off for that new promotion. You don't fucking get it. Someone else does. Maybe they kiss better ass than you do. Guess what? Get over it. Life will hijack your mind if you let it. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Get after it. Stay hard don't complain you want to become best you want to become champion and now you want to say like you're tired mm. who cares you tired or not nobody care about you mm. if without you or with you yeah. there is is on, always gonna be champions mm. with your name yeah. this is your choice yeah. you want to put your name there okay work hard but uh, I'll share one thing with you that I think you guys might find really helpful and valuable as you step forward into 2023 and I know that this quote uh, has really helped me over the years. I keep it very close with me. The quote goes like this. One day or day one. One day or day one. I think I could make something of this particular thing. Ah, uh, you know what? One day. Ah, uh, I'll do it one day. Okay, that's up to you. Or and I like this one better. Day one. I believe all these fucking cameras and phones and shit, it, it takes you away from the most powerful thing in the world, which is your fucking mind. And um, I'm constantly trying to put goals in front of me, but the biggest thing is I'm trying to find more of myself. And the only way I can find more is to silence the world out as much as I can because it's, it's, it's getting busier every day. It's getting faster. And the faster it gets, the more you are missing who the fuck you are so i trap my own mind a lot and say look man i put my phone away i put shit away and i go dark it's time to stay focused it's time to decide fuck clubs fuck partying fuck trying to fit in and socialize rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird why are you so anti-social because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. We've been working out hard in the gym for a month, but we haven't seen any results. So we get all fucking down and poopy pants and shit. You studied for 30 minutes for a fucking test and you didn't do as well as you thought. What the fuck did you expect? You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of shit, man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. It's not until then, once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. Stay hard. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. 
it is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they ain't, they ain't happen. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't gonna like that shit. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're gonna judge you. And nowadays, it's very easy to be a fucking coward. Why? We got Instagram and shit. Most folks don't tell you to your face. They go online, they post about like cowards. Don't let cowards get in your fucking head. And last thing, make sure you do you. Stay hard. There's so many times in life you don't want to be doing what the fuck you're doing. You can't just fucking quit. Remember this. It's in the hobby. It's in the fucking joke. It's a fucking lifestyle. So what you say to yourself is important. There's no fucking coach. There's no trainer to keep you going. It's only you. So think about this. You've been working your whole life to get a fucking seat at the table. To see the table is you want to be the best amongst all the best people in your fucking career field. So you finally get that letter. It's steak, lobster, it's a big dinner. Everybody's showing up, dressed to the nines. Make sure you so soaking wet for fucking getting after it, working out hard. Towel around your neck. You respect the event. So make sure you put that towel or that nice chair so you don't fuck it up. The whole thing is this. Don't say a word. Stay uncommon amongst uncommon people. You're never done. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Stay hard. I hope this video opened your eyes and helped you up. If you have any questions left, you can comment it now. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe. Stay okay. hard. How do you guys have seen that? Let me go over the workout for you guys. So, started off with dip exercise ball did five sets out of five reps on dips we also did leg raises four sets of five then we did the boy bell we did squats five sets of ten leg raise no standard curves four sets of ten went on to the dumbbell with the weighted vest we did five sets four reps burpees we did gorilla rows four sets ten reps then we went on to the body workouts with the weighted vest, jumping jacks, five sets of 10 reps. Yielding spine wave with stretch squats is two sets of 10 reps. Then we did the wall set until failure. New personal best, two minutes even. So with that being said, now that I've gone over everything with you guys in terms of what's going on today, I'm going to go ahead and pick this camera back up tomorrow, New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2023. And I'm going to do a workout and a walk as well. I don't have any plans tomorrow, so I'm going to try to knock both of those out. If not, I'm going to do one or the other. And your boy currently weighed in this morning at 2 or 3. I just for myself, after my workout, I was 2... 2... 202.7 let me see give me one second I was 202.1 and that was at approximately 7.42 so right after my workout I weigh myself so with that being said I have about less about a pound or so to lose weight and get to 200 so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow Alrighty. today is december 31st 2023 this is my last official day of 2023 this is my last walk that i'll be taking for this year this is the last day i'll be exercising for this year and the last 24 hours I have to cut weight to make my goal of 200. Now this morning 
I actually weighed in. I weighed in at 202.5, so roughly a pound and a half to lose. Just so today, I've been fasting majority of the week, and today is my last official day to make it. You know, and. As I get closer and closer to the time, as I get closer and closer to my final way in, I'm getting excited, but also nervous. I'm excited because I'm going into the new year as a, a new shell of myself. One that's more motivated, one who is proving people wrong, doubted me, one who is making a change in his life, one who is just going into the year better than I came in. And by that, I mean like a lot better. Because the entire year up to this point, I was 260, 263, I peaked at 264. Now we're down to less than 205. If you would have told me that I would have lost so much weight at the beginning of the year, that I would make it this far, I would have probably told you that that would be nice. I wish I could do that. But I made it a fair point to actually get up one day and say, I'm gonna do it. And that's what I meant earlier in this documentary when I said, what's better, one day or day one? Because obviously you could tell by me saying one day, I just kept pushing it back and back and back. By me saying it's today's day one, I made a huge difference. And this didn't happen overnight. This took months, hours, days, weeks, weekends, birthdays, holidays as a sacrifice just so I can make it this far. And hopefully tomorrow morning I make it worth it and I prove the motherfuckers who wanted me to fail wrong. And most of all I prove to myself that I can do anything I want to do. As long as I put in the work and the time to do it. And this is not just about weight loss, it's about anything in life. Because even though you're watching this documentary, I can't really explain in words what I had to go through mentally and physically just to get this far. I can just give you like a, a quick example, but you will never truly understand unless you do something like this on your own and that's the hard part doing it on your own yes you have people around you who help you but at the end of the day they're not in the same bedroom as you they're not in the same bed as you they're not in the same body not in the same mindset not in your head with the voices with your demons do not wish you to fight that battle no matter how cheesy it sounds it's just not they can be a few in spirit in a few hours but at the end of the day it's just you and your mind and something I heard recently that I've been living by for the past couple of months is that your mind's your greatest ally but your worst enemy. Here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is going to turn everything on.
2024 is going to be your year. I want each and every one of you to write a simple statement for yourself, looking ahead to 2024. What do I want to create in 2024? Why do you want it? If you don't understand why you want something, you will not do anything to get it. We are only motivated when something is personal. And when you know why you want something, you will be more likely to put your head down and do it. I'm when your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it because they don't think you can do nothing they can't do. And as much as you you, you want to be able to listen a little bit because somebody's going to give you a gem, but nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. As much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all, it's not going to be like that. You got to do it alone. Cannot erase the work ethic part. Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stairs. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. I know of no better life purpose than to perish in attempting the great and impossible. The fact that something seems impossible shouldn't be a reason to not pursue it. That's exactly what makes it worth pursuing. Hi everybody. Just got done with my last walk or jog for 2023. I'm gonna go ahead and rest a little bit. Put this camera up again later tonight for a workout. The last workout of the year. And then I'm gonna rest. I'm not doing anything. I don't have any plans. The only plan I have is finishing this documentary for you guys and getting everything uploaded and ready to be released. <clears throat> but, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and rest, shower up. I'll do an outside workout later today. And it's only about like 12.30. Yeah, so I did an hour and four minute walk. So I'll see you guys later on tonight. Okay guys. Once again, today is December 31st, 2023. Today is my last official workout of this weight loss journey. Today is my last official day to make my weight. Um, doing a little bit of a light workout. Why not light? Just a little bit of what we did yesterday, just popped a few workouts out. And then once we get done with this workout, I'm gonna walk well, not walk, but do like a slight jog up and down the block, how we did a few nights ago. Um, yeah, so I want to keep talking for too much. Just want to get knocked out, and we're looking pretty good so far. Look cut, I look lean, I feel good. Like I said it before, I'm just excited and nervous at the same time to see if I if I make my dream goal a reality, if I make my ideal way a reality, do I do I beat the odds against me? I mean, I made it this far. I, I just want to make it, bro. Just to say that I did it, just to prove everybody wrong, just to, to prove the haters and the people that doubted me wrong. Like, see, I did it even when you did doubt me, you know? But, um,. Enough for me talking. I got everything set up right now. So let's just go ahead and get this work in. I sweat. Let's go through pain. And let's go through war one last time. Where would the courage and greatness be if success was certain and there was no risk? The only true failure is shrinking away from life's challenges. I've spent a lot of time in my life sitting around wanting things to change and not being able to make them change and, and not thinking I could. 
And I wish somebody had told me that earlier sometimes. That in order for something to change, there needs to be change. As long as you are the common denominator in every situation, you have the power to change it. Don't like the way things are going at work, you have the power to change it. Don't like the way your health is right now, don't like what you see when you look in the mirror, you have the power to change that. Maybe your financial situation, maybe it's a lack of skills, maybe it's a lack of opportunity. Stop wanting easy. How many great books have been written about the easy times in people's lives? How many of the greatest stories of all time are about a guy who woke up and everything just went smoothly? Zero of them. They are all about the challenging, hard times that the character had to overcome. And such is the case with your life. That's why we think those are the greatest of all time. Because that's what humans are supposed to do. That's what we admire. How do you feel after you do something that's easy? Do you celebrate yourself? Do you pat yourself on the back and say, I did something easy today? No, you only feel that way when you do something that was difficult to do. So do more of those things. On the other side of that is all the happiness, fulfillment, confidence that you are looking for. It's all there, but your expectation is for things to be easy. You can't get the fruit of the labor without doing the labor. Embrace the challenges, move towards discomfort, and you'll get exactly what you're looking for. Strong mind is not just one that can do calculus. A strong mind is one that controls the body and all of its urges to be lazy and sedentary and self-destructive. That's a strong mind. Stop making excuses. Simple as that. You can make a million excuses why you didn't work out this morning. You can make a million excuses why you didn't get that raise, why you didn't take that, take that leap of faith. You can make a million excuses, but you know deep down inside and consciousness is eating away at you that it's an excuse. When you have a dream, it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face this is who you are this is what you must be for the rest of your life sometimes a dream almost whispers the hardest thing to listen to your instincts your human personal intuition always whispers it never shouts very hard to hear so you have to every day of your lives be ready to hear what whispers in your ear it very rarely shouts and if you can listen to the whisper and if it's tickles your heart and it's something you think you want to do for the rest of your life, then that is going to be what you do for the rest of your life. Forget this new year, new me bullshit. Your success should not be confined to a certain set of dates. Those days don't matter more than this day or any other day. Every single day that you are alive, that is a day that you should be moving the needle forward. I don't care if it's January, February, March, or any other month. I don't care how the year's been. I don't care what you want to do in the next one. All you have is today. All you have is what is right in front of you. And what is right in front of you is an opportunity to do better. So you're not going to self-destruct until the calendar flips to January 1st. You're not going to call it quick in the middle of February when you mess up your progress, you are going to look at the opportunity that is right in front of you and you are going to seize it. That is how you go from old you to new you, not sitting around waiting for the calendar to flip to a certain day. Once you start to feel like you can keep on going, then you're going to feel like you can go further. But first, you got to feel like you can go. And then it will all evolve, man. I promise you. All those things are possible, but now if you know that something's wrong and you continue to do, you continue to do it, then you are kind of choosing to suffer.
Alrighty everybody, <clears throat> I just got done my workout, I'm going to go over everything I went, I'm going to go over everything I did today with you guys, first off we did the walk for an hour and four minutes, then we just got done this workout, we started off with dip exercises, so we did five sets out of five on dips, we did four sets of five leg raises, we did five sets of 10 on rows. We did three sets of 15 overhead press. We did three sets of four on the burpees. We did three sets of 20 on the jumping jacks. Two sets out of 15 on push-ups. Four sets of 15 with a slam ball or sand ball. Then we did a wall sit until failure with a new personal best of 2 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm so defeated. I just keep saying to myself, I'm excited but I'm nervous to see where I stand tomorrow morning. Luckily I don't have to work early in the morning. I don't have to go to work until 9. I get off at 6. But um, I'm gonna try to wake up early no matter what, clean myself, see where we stand. And then when I come back from work, talk to you guys a little bit. Maybe do a light workout. And uh, just see where we go from there. But um, no matter what happens, for the next couple of hours, no matter what happens tomorrow morning. I'm still extremely proud of myself for making it this far, but the competitive side of me is telling me I cannot accept nothing other than 200 or less. That's what one side of my brain is telling me and the other side of my brain is saying, you know what, no matter what happens tomorrow, you've done an amazing job, you got this far, this is not, but for the side that keeps saying I want nothing more than 200 pounds or less, that's, that's the sign I'm leading on more. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm still proud of myself no matter what I do, but it's like, how can I explain this? It's like imagine your your dream, right? Of being a football player, a basketball player, a baseball player, and you're you're going in for the championship, or in boxing, or running, whatever the case may be. But whatever your dream was when you were a kid, and you wanted to be a champion of something, and you just want nothing more than that gold wrapped around your voice, or put on your finger, or whatever the case may be. That's kind of how I feel right now. I want that piece of gold. I want that, I want that. I've, I dreamed about it so many times of me hitting 200. I stressed myself out so many times like, can I do this? I can't do it. I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just gonna get discouraged. I just want that number to my name. I want it so bad. And now I'm just stuck waiting and waiting and waiting until I wake up tomorrow morning and find out for myself whether I did it or not. But 
on the bright side, today is New Year's Eve, and tomorrow I step into the world at a new, young, fresh, hungry 20-year-old kid who went through living hell or made his life a living hell and try to lose weight. I fasted over three times. Well, not over three. I fasted so many hours. I've done push-ups so many times. I've done burpees. I've done this, I've done that. I've done this workout, that workout. I've walked so many miles, so many steps just to get to this moment and I'm just stuck here waiting. And there's only one way to find out whether I make it or not. And we both have to wait. And we both have to just see what the outcome is. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year. 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 Happy going to bed right now and in a few hours I'll find out whether I made my goal or not. It's currently 12.18, not sure if you can see it just right. There we go. So 12.18 is the time right now I'm going to bed. So I gotta be at work at 9 so I'm gonna wake up a little bit earlier, weigh myself, use the bathroom, use the bathroom, then weigh myself. Then we'll find out and then I'll talk to you guys in the afternoon. When I get home, I get off at 6 tomorrow. By the time you guys already saw this, the every documentary episode should be up by now. And Happy New Year. If you're watching this right now, before I tell you rather did I make my weight loss or did I not make my weight loss, I want to start from the beginning. I started off this journey at 264 pounds, the biggest I've ever probably been in my life. And that's at the age of 21. So for a 21 year old kid who's out of shape and weighing 264 pounds, nearly 300 pounds, it's probably not something I want to I want to deal with and to tell you when was the last time i was under 200 under 230 220 whatever the case may be i could not tell you probably since i don't even know but the point was that my goal was 200 pounds by january 1st of 2024 and my backup goal if i didn't believe in myself enough was going to be 220 220 pounds by january 1st and looking back on that number and looking back after editing all these episodes for this documentary that i made and produced and edited it all myself looking back on what i just said that my backup goal was 220 i would have slapped myself in the face knowing that i would just settle for the bare minimum in some cases that's good but once i started i just wanted to keep going and going once i started losing two three four five ten twenty thirty forty pounds i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a I guess you could say a recap or a montage of the entire documentary series all from the span of under two minutes. If you guys enjoy it, thank you guys for watching. Sit back and watch this last portion of this documentary. I'm going to show you how great I am. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off the pity potty. Wake your ass up. Well, Do I'm people back. who are video. watching, Confucius said one time, he it's who says he fast. can and he who says he can't are both usually right. He told the guy, 
He said, when you want to succeed Hi, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Too tired. No excuses. Too hard. No excuses. Too busy. No excuses. Too early. No excuses. When I feel like quitting, I remember there's too many people I need to prove wrong. When I feel like quitting, I remember I have too much to fight for. I will not quit. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we can be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. Whatever you think is your limit, push past it. Whatever you think is your max, see if you can get 10% more out. Results don't lie. It all comes down to one simple question. How bad do you want it? And when you feel like quit, give me 10 more. Well, everybody, uh, I made it Went from 264 down to 188.7 in six months in approximately five days. Not, pe not many people can say that they've done that. I mean, I'm, I'm literally sitting here right now in a brand new pair of shorts and looking at my legs like, damn, bro. Nah, but in all seriousness, if you're still watching at this point, thank you. Thank you for watching the entire documentary, or even if you've only seen one episode so far, thank you for still watching it because I appreciate it so much. Hopefully looking back on this now, hopefully I inspire someone to at least attempt or try their own weight loss journey or just to push ahead in the next step of their life, whether it's going through college, going through high school, through putting your accomplishments in line, if it's in sports and entertainment, whatever the case may be, if someone's watching this, I inspired someone at least a little bit, even just to get started because that's what's the hardest part about this journey that I focus on was getting started. Of course, this summer around, I was a lot more focused, a lot more locked in, I guess you could say, but just getting started in the very first couple days to about the first two weeks was definitely a challenge. So I think a good job on my part was finding people around me who can inspire me and continue like, hey, you're doing a good job, keep, it, keep going, you know? Obvious one, obvious one has to be the personal trainer. He's changed my life a lot, mainly in the physical and a little bit in the mental side of things. With his help, I was able to get to the next step and the next workout. And to, I want to say thank you for both my parents, my father and my mother, the change and aspect of my life and seeing me grow up into a young man now that they, I hope I can say they are proud of, especially in certain aspects of life. But um, I want to say thank you to my cousins, I want to say thank you to my friends, my co-workers who might be watching this and the list goes on and on, but main it's notoriety and bringing it to your attention for someone else who probably needs to see this or go through this, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you guys for watching it. Definitely giving me your time to watch this documentary that's all i gotta say but i do have videos planned where i do want to do reaction videos back again on the channel i do want to do gaming i want to be back to streaming so obviously i'm gonna do a workout video i'm going over some of the workouts i've done to help me lose the 65 pounds something i heard mc tyson say in an interview was you have a talent or he was saying this to francis Ngano, the uc fighter or the ex uc fighter boxer now at this point but he was telling him that you're gifted and that's a gift from god but be careful with that because when you're favored by god you're favored by the devil that was something that really stuck out to me 
I can't wait to see what I look like in a year's time, within two years' time, three years' time, especially with the things I've known now and the things I've learned along the way. I'm definitely going to continue to hold on to it and pass on the knowledge I've learned so far. So with that being said, I just want to say thank you once again for watching this. Thank you once again for believing in me. Thank you once again for just giving me the energy, the right type of energy I need in my life. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's me, your boy Jay. Peace.